here is the entrance to the Athletes Village. I'm gonna head in and see what it's like inside. Made it through security. They call this the Champions Plaza. They have activities here through the day. Maybe film a dance later on. This guy's pretty good. <laughs> There's the tea experience. <laughs> and we'll try all different. I'm not quite sure what these are, but they look good. I'll have someone translate those for me. These are the mascots. They're some kind of dog that they have in Korea, dressed in traditional clothing. Down here is the beauty at place. Nails and hand massage. Here's a few of the bikes we can just take wherever we want to, ride around town, bring them back. We left one for four hours at uh, a store and picked them up. They're still there when we came back. Here's a 200 meter track, just for, I'm not sure why, but some little practices, I guess. Never actually seen anyone using it yet. And this is the creepers. I think I want to build this for going into our garden at home. Some of the high jumpers hit their heads on these as they walk through. There's a lot of coaches that would love to have this throwing area for their practice. Probably would cost a lot. <laughs> Just couple on a tandem bike. <laughs> Looks good. <laughs> I think she's a little nervous. This is the practice track. Nice big scoreboard. going on here. Sometimes it's real crowded. Decided to get on the bike for a little bit. A little quicker to get around. There's the water wheel fountain. <laughs> this is Hanbok. The clothing you can wear as a traditional Korean. Oh, 
Filipina. Very short. Very short. <laughs> I don't know what this is. You know, the checkpoint and that checkpoint. A lot of the countries like to hang their flags out. China likes really big flags. We don't have them on our apartment. We don't necessarily want people to know where we are.